I've got Yanni's Lamborghini Revuelto. I've got Tommy's Ferrari SF90, and I've even got a Ferrari 296. We're here on a drag strip. I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. So, Yanni, are you worried? Just a little bit. And he should be worried because this SF90 has already beaten a Revuelto. <laughs> No freaking way! It may look a bit different, that's because before it had a wrap, and now without it, it's a little bit lighter. So the pressure is really on Yanni, especially as he did a whole video of excuses about how the Revuelto was beaten by the SF90. Tommy, 800 miles is not enough. Launches were not on point. And at the end of the video, Yanni boldly stated, I'm not accepting it. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But now the time for talk is over. Can Yanni restore honour to Lamborghini or will Ferrari prevail? Get ready for a roller coaster ride yeah! of racing yes! and emotions. Oh my God. Now we're going to find out if Yanni's Revuelto is in fact quicker than Tommy's. But before we race it against the SF90, I want to do something else. This is a Ferrari 296. It has a three litre twin turbo V6 mated to an electric motor for a combined 830 horsepower and 740 newton meters of torque. This drives the rear wheels via an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. The car weighs 1,470 kilos dry and costs from 242,000 pounds. Meanwhile, the Lamborghini Revuelto has a 6.5 litre naturally aspirated V12. It's also mated to an electric motor driving the rear wheels via an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. But the Lamborghini also benefits from a further two electric motors on the front axle, giving it four wheel drive and a combined 1,015 horsepower and 1,062 newton meters of torque. The Lamborghini weighs 1,772 kilos dry and costs from 447,000 pounds. Yanni really will have to hang his head in shame if his Revuelto gets beaten by the baby Ferrari. So Yanni, it would be humiliating if this car with its rear wheel drive and a lot less power beats your car. I agree with you, it would be embarrassing. When I'm racing on car wow, it's gonna be a different story. Tommy's got such an early car, I'm hoping the software's gonna be better when my car arrives. Tell you what would also be embarrassing, so you claim you're the better driver with a better reaction time you're in the faster car apparently so it'd be double double embarrassing if you do lose this this should be a foregone conclusion you should win this if you don't utter humiliation and you should probably do a forfeit what do you reckon your forfeit should be you're just setting me up aren't you? <laughs> trying to humiliate me just get lost get the starter and let's race oh first let's do a sound check right i mean this is one you should win but i'm going to start by revving up my v6 <laughs> Actually, it's not my V6, it's David Ross's V6. Thanks for lending us your car, David. Let's have a listen to your V12. Mate, that was rubbish. And that, my friend, is 1-0. You've got like double the cylinders and yours is naturally aspirated. That's one thing I like about the Roalto. It's still got that NA V12 sound, hasn't it? I don't know if you like your turbos or anything like that. I'm glad they did that. But when it comes to performance, <laughs> well, we're going to find out now, aren't we? Three. Two. Oh, come on, 296! Listen, I don't know who crossed the line first, but you got four wheel drive and you got a four wheel drive launch. This car was coming back at you. That finish was very, very close. I don't know who won, but first one and I'm just warming up the car. Um, finish line cam. Can you tell me which one crossed the line first? Yeah, that was a uh, rub welterweight inch. Yeah! Well done, Yanni, my friend. Well done, that's one now. Yes! Come on! Do you want to know something weird? 
always. So just then I was practicing a little bit and this car seems quicker if I don't use launch control. The problem is it's going to be a nightmare for me to time it properly, but I'm going to try not using launch control. I don't want to hear no excuses, okay? That's on you, mate. Okay, <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> You got dropped, mate. has found its stride. That was slower than my first run. Can we just have one more, just to see, like a proper one with launch control? Final one, but I just want to put it out there. I've already won, because it's already two nil. I won't beat you, I don't think, but I might get closer. Damn, what an idiot I was. I've got a feeling though, heat is dialed in. Let's make it three nil, clean sweep. Clean sweep, come on! Come on. No, my God, he's catching me. Come on. I don't care. I don't care. Still 2-1. Now, I know what you're going to say. Two out of three, and you've already won. However, Everyone watching this is gonna go, well, Matt cocked it up, he didn't do the proper launch control. And with launch control, it's definitely one each. I told you, I'm not playing. It's 2-1, simple as that, mate. The thing is, Yanni, are you going to just let the video play out that you've been beaten there by a 296, right? And technically, I'll let you take the win if you want to. What you can do is gamble. You can go for another launch, and maybe you'll win the next launch, and it'll be conclusive that your car is quicker. However, we could leave it here and there'll always be that nagging doubt. I don't care. I'll take the win. Because I know I'm racing <laughs> against an SF90. Okay, your call. I'm letting you do it. It's 2-1 to the Rualto. So then what exactly happened? Well, in the first race, the Lamborghini won by the narrowest of margins, though both cars crossed the line in 10.2 seconds. In the second race, the Lamborghini won clearly crossing the line in 10.2 seconds, while the Ferrari took 10.4 seconds due to my poor start. In the third race, the Ferrari won, though both cars crossed the line in 10.3 seconds. <laughs> Now we're going for rolling race, cars are in light sports, race to the half mile, auto mode, here we go, I'm going to call it in. Three, two, one, go. Kick down, this just haven't, hasn't, no. Didn't kick down, it just built for the gears. Wow. Bye, Yanni. I'll take that, I don't care. Easy win, God, your car is so much quicker, I was wrong. What happened? So when I'm in sport mode and I floor it, it just drives on the torque, it doesn't kick down. Yours obviously kicked down and that's why you absolutely thrashed me. After the drag races, we're none the wiser. After that first rolling race, we're none the wiser. <laughs> let's have a go. another go. Okay, Yanni, that was super confusing. This time, let's go in full race mode. We'll go manual mode for the gearbox, but let's do it from 30 miles an hour, second gear, okay. 30 miles an hour, second gear. Here we go. This will test our hybrid systems. Three, two, one, go. Bloody hell. Honestly, this is just testament to Ferrari's power. Mate, 
Um, I don't know what to say. On one of my gear changes, it wasn't 100%, but the distance between us, it wouldn't have made any difference. Two of my gear changes were a little bit at the top as well, so I think it probably cancels it out. Let's do the same again, but from 15 third, see if that makes a difference. I've got a feeling it's this turbo torque, just gives you more grunt lower down. I'm in third now, right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. So he pulls away a bit at first, but then this. Just pulls. This is so quick. Yeah, my gear change were on point, so um, yeah, it's quicker. Let's do a brake test, I guess. Remind me where the stop is again. Is it on the cone? You seem a little bit deflated. <laughs> Oh man, I won the drag race, I'm happy. And why about your nose? Why you got a red mark there? I was wearing my glasses, my daughter got a cushion, went like that down my face with my glasses on and so it took the skin off my nose. Classic, children eh? Now we can have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the cones, full emergency stop. Car that stops in the shortest distance wins. I'm gonna move my seat a bit more forward to give myself extra brake pressure. Here comes the cones. <laughs> Yeah. People don't even care about the brakes, let's be straight. Now let's bring in the 296's daddy, the Ferrari SF90. It has a four litre twin turbo V8 mated to an electric motor driving the rear wheels for an eight speed dual clutch automatic gearbox. Like with a Lamborghini though, it also has a further two motors on the front axle for four wheel drive and a combined 1000 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. It weighs 1,570 kilos dry and costs from 376,000 pounds. So Yanni, this is it, this is the re match. Now you always said that Tommy's car might have been a slow car because it's an early car and blah 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 car. How are you feeling now though? Now we're lined up. One, I am nervous. <laughs> After the 296 race that we did. Two, he's taken the wrap off so now that car's even lighter. <laughs> and this car's heavier and I am two and a half stone lighter. However, I think the weight could play a part here. Okay, you think it's gonna be down to weight? I think it's gonna be down to performance. The Ferrari performance is more than the Lamborghini performance, but we all find out now. First thing to do though, a sound check. Let's give you an easy win. It's quite loud, but loud. Anyway, that's enough noise making. Let's do some racing. Absolutely top. Yeah! Like, whoa. That's one nil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to humiliate you because you're my mate and everything. And I, another thing you complained about when I drag raced Tommy in his Rewelto was that Tommy's launches were on point. So what I might do is switch and let Tommy have a drive of this. Wow, you're really coming for me. All right, go and put Tommy in it then. Poor Yanni. I mean, I shouldn't be doing this to him. I'd be so gutted, you know, if that was my car. I don't know why, because it doesn't really matter. We're talking tenths of a second, but there's just something about it. It's like when you take your car on the dyno and it produces slightly less power than you think it's got, you just feel disappointed, even though it doesn't matter. But oh, today, if I was him, I'd be absolutely gutted. And I think we're gonna add insult to injury. Right then, Tommy, so, little tip, take a few breaths after the star's hands go down, you'll still have him. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you leave. The gap you put on him at the start, I was like, oh, this is embarrassing. If you lose, Tommy. I'm not going to lose. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I come in with you? <laughs> let's, in. let's just jump in. <laughs> yeah, now I'm going to ride with Tommy. Matt, don't tell him when to go. I don't need to tell him when to go. Oh, you're holding his hand as well, What's that there? beeping? Are you in reverse? Oh. <laughs> So you might have won then, he was in reverse. <laughs> now do you know what, he might still have won. <laughs> Basically you're racing a pair of hyenas now because we're just laughing like mad. <laughs>
jump the start though. Did I? Nice try, Tommy though. Nice try, mate. So that's a disqualification. That was a jump, wasn't it, Jan? <laughs> By about a mile. Tommy, what happened, mate? You got such a fast car. You should even allow me to go first. You're that confident, mate. What happened, Tommy? You don't need to be so eager, Tommy, right? I know how he is, though. No, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> he could have left yesterday and you'll still win. <laughs> exactly. You got such a fast car, Tommy. You don't need to jump, mate. Stewards, did Tommy jump it? They're going to say by a mile. Uh, no. He didn't jump it. <laughs> And I'm pulling on him. And it's funny, he said my car was um, a Friday afternoon car. His car seems slower than my one. Well, do you know, that's what I was going to say. I think your car is quick and I think the stats show it as well. Yeah, that's my fault. I'll tell you why that's my fault, yeah? Because Tommy's like launch it in Corsa. Sam's like launch it with ESC off. What do you reckon, Corsa or ESC off? ESC right? off, 100%. Yeah? So I've tried Sam's way, which theoretically doesn't work. So I'll, I'll hold my hand, that's my bad on the launch. Pick your best mode and we'll go again. But on that one, yeah, my launch was messed up because I was in the wrong mode. Another technique to launch and it was not going to make up the difference, Yanni. Uh, maybe bolting some turbos on it would have. Yeah, I think turbo. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter what I do to this car. The good thing is though, Sammy's selling that car and keeping his Rewelto, so he's not gonna have an SF90. I would rather have the Rewelto than the SF90 any day of the week. But would you rather have your Rewelto knowing it's faster than his? 100%. <laughs> <laughs> but his spec's better. Uh, I'm not sure what, white with white wheels? Yeah, it's wicked. I mean, he's all right. I'm just saying that um, your spec's better. Yeah, because he's a pre spec car, that's why. He didn't get to spec his own car. Do you know what we should do? <laughs> do you know what we should do? We should get them both on the dyno. <laughs> In fact, we should race and yeah. get them on the dyno. Yeah, I'm down. I'll do anything. Yeah, let's, honestly, we should do that because it's quite interesting from just a consumer point of view for the Lamborghini owners. Are you happy with how you're going to launch? Mate, whatever launch I do, I'm going to be beat. It's fine. I get it. But at least if I can get the launch right, I feel better in myself. Okay, let's do it. Three, two, one. Well, that was a real nice neck and neck launch. Oh! That was your car's best launch from the day. Yeah, still didn't make a difference though, did it? So then what exactly happened? Well, the Ferrari won every single race. In the first one, it crossed the line in 9.8 seconds and the Lamborghini took 10.2 seconds. In the second race, the Ferrari took 9.9 .9 seconds and the Lamborghini 10.5 seconds. In the third race, the Ferrari took 9.9 .9 seconds again and the Lamborghini took 10.3 seconds. And in the final race, the Ferrari clocked another 9.9 .9 seconds while the Lamborghini crossed the line in 10.1 seconds its best time yet. But as we'll find out soon, all may not be what it seems. Oh my God. Should we try and do an electric race? How heavy are you, Tommy? 92 kg. Uh, what are you, Yanni? 101. Okay, and I'm like 73. We're a little bit heavier than you. Yeah, but the car's heavier. This is all getting very boring. I'll stay in the <laughs> car anyway. Yeah, Come, on, on, Come on! Come on! Come oh. on! See ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe not.
Do you know, I actually feel a little bit embarrassed. It is awkward. Let's not talk about any of this, Yanni. Shall we just move on to a rolling race? Let's go back into petrol. I reckon we drag race your car and then we dyno them both. Yeah, to see what the deal is. No, to make sure that you don't miss that video because that will be coming unless Yanni vetoes it. He might veto it, he might not. Anyway, to find out, subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so you're alerted when I upload that video. Let's go, let's get into second gear, into 30 miles an hour. Tommy will set the pace. Three, two, one, go. That was like six cars. Have you got any thoughts? I've got a better looking car and that's a faster car. Let's do it again in second gear from 30. Okay, let's do it again. I just want to check something because Tommy <laughs> something up. Mate, why? What's the point of doing that? He's <laughs> something up. Well, let's do it again. Trust me. You're full of <laughs> God. Right, you're going to do it in third gear. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to hate me after this. Right, Tommy, don't f this up this time. Right, make sure you're using automatic mode. That's why we're the beginning drive. That's it, Tommy, stay in third. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, Yanni's got it. Yeah, you put him in normal mode, didn't you, to see if he still beats me. I think it's rumbled us. Did you put it in normal mode? No, no, it was just normal race mode. It's all fine. All right. I think you have a bank holiday car. True. At least I spec my own car though. You know what I mean? Didn't have to get the dealer to spec my own car. The dealer spec man, because I got it before you. The dealer spec <laughs> right, dealer children, dealer spec stop man. It. I got it before you stop though. It. No, it's just fine. Right. Okay, we're not going to do another rolling race. We are going to do a brake test. If you want it to be good, put it in um, hybrid mode for the brake test. Then it'll use all of the regen and all the brakes. That's what I was doing. It was at this moment he knew he f***ed up. Oh my God. I was using the wrong mode. My car hasn't been in performance at all. What? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's hybrid the whole time in all races. It's only now that you just said it, I'm like, because obviously I'm in Corsa, just I never put it in performance mode on any race. I've been in hybrid mode. Oh my God. So, all okay. <laughs> what are we going to do now? Drag race this, because you ain't got much fuel left mm. against his car and he's going to put it in performance mode. I feel like, why would they let you launch it without max power though? No, they don't. Please be something crazy now. So it never bogged down in any of my drag races. The first time it goes in performance, bogged down. You want to do it again? Yeah. One more. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say? It's a shame because it does feel quicker in performance, but the launch just doesn't launch like it did. But anyway, let's do brake test. Okay, we're going to do a brake test. Get level with Tommy. Tommy will set the pace. Get up to 100, Tommy. Go get up to 100, Tommy. You need to get to 100, mate. Come on. Now, what are you doing? No, we're dead. Yeah, limited performance. Right. Okay, this car's toast. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you want to sell the car? Yeah, definitely. If anyone's interested, it's just run out of fuel. That's the only thing. So then, what exactly happened? Well, in the first race, the Ferrari won. It crossed the line in 9.9 .9 seconds, whereas the Lamborghini took 10.2 seconds. In the second race, the Ferrari took 9.9 .9 seconds again. It's very consistent, this car, isn't it? Whereas the Lamborghini took 10.3 seconds. <laughs> 
So I've jumped back into the 296, seeing as Tommy's car has run out of fuel. We're gonna do the rolling race again, second gear 30, this one last time, but you think you're in hybrid. Okay, let's do this. Rolling race, they mile now. Three, two, one, go. You went a bit early there, Yannick. I must say, you went a little bit early then, but that car's running quicker now, definitely. Let's do it again, but in third gear, okay? Third gear, 50? Yeah, if that had been the previous race when you were in hybrid, I would have come past you, but um, I wasn't gaining. This will be from 50, so I'm in third now, get level. Three, two, one, go. Coming back. He's coming back. I'm happy for you. I apologize to my Lambo family that I wasn't in performance mode, but hopefully now I'm showing you that we're back. So yeah, I hold my hands up. People make mistakes. <laughs> I'm so glad you noticed because what would have happened is we'd have put that video out, I'd have had Lamborghini on at me going, you've run it in, moron. Doesn't know how to work his own car. It's the first time I'm drag racing, isn't I? Yeah, let's do a drag race, come on. Performance, Corsa, first gear. Beat him and beat him well now. Had a lot of wheel spin, it wasn't a great time. Performance mode! Yeah. He's ahead, but I'm coming back. That's what should have happened. Yes, 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 yes! Was that a perfect launch for you? That's what it should be doing. Thank God. I feel so relieved. And the fact that people online would have been watching saying, Yanni, you're not in performance. What have you done? Thank God we found out now because we'd have been battered online. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Lamborghini won. Crossing the line in 10.2 seconds, while the Ferrari took 10.3 seconds. Overall, it appears that while not having the Lamborghini in performance mode did affect the rolling races, it didn't seem to massively affect the results of its standing quarter mile times on the day. 